Hi, I'm Streaky from Streaky.com. Today, I answer the question, when's the best time to give up? So I had a question from a viewer that I thought was worth addressing in a video, and he was saying to me that he feels like he wants to give up on doing music, and he's been trying for so long, and it's not paying off, so what, what should he do? When's the best time to give up, basically? So I personally think that what you need to do is you need to think to yourself, I think it, with that frustration that comes around, and I've had it loads and loads and loads in my career as I've been going, did it with music when I wrote music, DJing, everything. And the only thing that I found that worked for me was to picture exactly what I wanted to get out of the situation and then kind of work it back from there to then give myself sort of sections where I could go, okay, I can see that I'm going towards where I want to go. I think the problem is if you don't have this kind of target that you want to hit, then you really don't know where you're going. And then when things don't happen for you, you kind of think, well, it's not happening. But you don't really know what you want because you haven't kind of decided that thing. So that's what happened to me anyway with, say, my music career. I didn't think to myself, okay this is where I want to go I just kind of played it by ear and kind of went with it and sort of ended up just going like this all the way I didn't have any direction is what I'm really trying to say so I didn't know okay this is the point of where I want to be and then all these little incremental points will get me there and then you can think okay well I'm doing something and I'm and I know what I need to do and I know okay when I need to do it by and then that kind of makes sense that it's just a path really along the way you're going to be put off and you're going to think to yourself can't be bothered and stuff but I think what you've really got to do when it comes to that is think well look that's my long-term goal is that and then all these little short-term things lead to that that long-term thing the short-term things sometimes aren't paying you anything aren't doing anything but you have to put those in and you have to put those in every day to be able to get to that end goal that you want to do whether that be a mixer or whether that be you know a sound recordist or whether you want to be a front of house or whether you want a really good hi-fi or whatever you want to try and get if you've got that in place I know mix engineers who it comes back to what I've always said as well about focusing on one thing okay so I want to be that thing and so I've just got to work towards that one thing and by getting a manager at this point I've got to do to get a manager, I know that I'm going to need to have a certain amount of work under me. So how am I going to get that work? Okay, it means I'm going to have to work for free to start with. And then once I've worked for free, I can now get some paid work from the back of that, which then leads into me getting rid of that job there so that I can get paid for doing that. Okay, now I've got some more paid work. I can then speak to some more A&R people. I have to do that myself or other artists to then work with them. And so then that gets me to a point where a manager's worth getting involved because they can take their 20% because I'm earning enough. Then the manager's doing a lot of that work for you and then you and blah, blah. You get what I'm saying. So it, it kind of works up the scale. That's in the case of, say, a mix engineer or a recording engineer it's really knowing where you want to go and that will stop your frustration and stop you thinking I need to quit I need to quit you're always going to want to feel like quitting if you haven't got those incremental steps in place you're always going to want to feel like quitting because there's days when you wake up and and you think well it's not happening well what's not happening you don't know so I hope this little rant has helped in any way for anybody who is thinking about giving up or wondering how you can get to a certain point and try and, you know, keep the momentum going and, and keep thinking long term rather than short term. Get rid of the short term thinking. That will never get you anywhere because all you're going to do with short term thinking is take the little jobs that are paying and stuff, but they might not be on the path that you're wanting to go on to eventually get your long term achievement done. So you you might go off in loads of different directions. I've done that so many times, trust me. But you have to kind of really keep a blinker on and just go, no, if this doesn't equate to my long-term idea, then I'm not doing it. So it's kind of having that focus. Yeah, you're going to have to move a little bit, but having that focus, if you haven't got any money to start with, then you're going to have to do another job or something else to bring you some money in until you can get this to the point. But you should have worked that out as well from reverse engineering it. So yeah, I hope this has helped. If you've got any questions, don't forget on a Friday I answer most of the questions, but I thought this needed a bit more kind of unwrapping, so to speak. Keep your eye on the long-term goals, not the short-term goals, and keep at it. You never know, it's just around the corner, but you have to know where that corner is. If you like audio, if you want to get your room sounding better, if you like hi-fi reviews, if you like headphones, if you like pro audio reviews, then you need to sign up to my newsletter at streaky.com. So go to streaky.com, sign up to the newsletter. It's only once a month. You get 
discounts, giveaways, all kinds of information that I can't give on YouTube. So uh, yeah, please go to streaky.com, sign up. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.